The NFL has changed more in the last 15 years than the previous 35. At this rate, Super Bowl 100 could be unrecognizable from Super Bowl 50. Machine learning, data analytics is touching almost all aspects of professional sports in some capacity. You could see a, a huge shift towards computers actually running the strategic decisions behind a lot of sports teams, which will allow coaches to kind of focus more on player development and things of that nature. The difference between winning and losing in today's NFL is so thin. Teams are looking for an edge anywhere they can get it, and this is a huge area where teams can improve. We checked in with a high school coach in Little Rock, whose forward thinking just may provide a glimpse of the gameplay in the future. Where'd it go? There you go. Good job, man. You know, when I took over in 2003 as the head coach at this program, I looked back at the history of the program and they'd never been past the Final Four in the history of the program in like 40 years. And, and I thought, you know, nothing's going to change. And, and I didn't look to change it just to change it, but I wanted to be able to base decisions on data rather than basing decisions on gut feeling like a lot of coaches like to do. I found out that field position isn't nearly as important as people think. And from that point, we started punting less and less. And over the years, got to a certain point with that. The next thing we started looking at was field positions on or after kickoffs. And not just field position itself, but you start looking at when a team gets the ball on their own 25. What percentage of the time do they score from that point as opposed to what percentage of the time would they score if you onside kicked it? Then you bring into the equation turnovers and, and, and how those factor in and could we cause some turnovers by onside kicking. And we integrated all that stuff and we came up with our own way of playing a game of football. Despite Coach Kelly's impressive turnaround, winning five state championships since 2003, the NFL and the college game have been slow to adapt his methods. So it's human nature uh, to not want to go against the grain, against the change. And the irony is, if they would have gone for it, they upped their chances to win the game at that moment. So they're actually hurting their chances but keeping their job in some respects. But what if a supercomputer told you that not taking risks was the riskiest thing you could do? We checked in with Swish Analytics in San Francisco to see the role that supercomputers currently have in the game of football. So we are Swish Analytics. Swish is a machine learning platform for sports data, specifically focused on predictive insights for the sports betting and fantasy worlds, as well as real-time prediction. So we're collecting thousands of data points before the game and obviously during the game, and we are producing a number of different predictions. So if our models feel that the next play will be a pass, that is obviously going to affect the potential output for a receiver on the team versus a run where it would be a uh, have a bigger impact on the running back. We are basically doubling them in a totally automated fashion across every pick of every game. It's pretty cool, right? For a team, they are definitely have you know access to the, the technology to implement a optimal play calling system where a coach can be at least given recommendations out of his thousands of plays that he has access to. Here are the top three most optimal plays to achieve a first down, a touchdown, or, or whatever you know the specific play calls for. Coaches have access to computer data right now, and they use it. But a lot of the coach's personality and a lot of emotion comes into his decisions. What if there was a computer instead of a coach? It could be a very interesting experiment. What if you took human emotion out of it altogether? You might be in the best play every time throughout a 60 minute game. That's a huge advantage because even the best coaches, you know, there's no way they're making the right call all the time. It is not too far off that a supercomputer or machine learning algorithm could be actually calling plays during a game, assigning strategies or personnel decisions. The fact of the matter is a computer uh, and, and a set of algorithms can process an exponentially large amount of data points. During a live game, that's super important. So right now, coaches are making decisions based off of, let's say, five data points, you know, who the quarterback is, what the weather's doing, uh, how the defense is playing. He can actually then start making decisions off of thousands of data points, and possibly those decisions could be made really without his consideration uh, sometime down the road. Technology keeps on improving, and it's just going to get more and more into the game. I think smart teams can't afford to be left behind. This analysis is going to have a huge impact on the future of the NFL. So Super Bowl 100, 50 years from now, uh, we imagine a supercomputer actually making most of the decisions in terms of a play call. 
Now the coach will act more as a quality assurance manager. So they'll have some kind of digital clipboard where they can actually either intervene and override uh, the play, or they can throw a wild card in there if, if they're kind of a gambler type of coach and they really want to throw off the supercomputer on the other sideline, which is, you know, calling the defense. We imagine that being relayed right down to the quarterback and actually the play being called by a supercomputer. Maybe supercomputers are going to be making the calls in the future, but the biggest mystery is exactly what those plays will actually look like. Now we're to a point now where they want to see more plays in a segment amount of time, the general public does. I think we'll reach where they want to see more plays that don't end. So maybe then we do start lateral, we do start doing those types of things, if we find a way to fit them into winning as well. I think you're going to see uh, teams continuing to tweak the way they play offense to make it more vertical. Uh, teams can refine their short yardage uh, offense. I think a lot of teams are going to start going for two more often in the future. You get to Super Bowl 100 and the score literally, it could be like a basketball NBA score. It'll be, you know, in the upper 90s, a team, it, it might be like the last 10 times this team scored over 100, they've won the game. And we'll be like, if we saw those stats now, we're like, what are they talking about? The days of the, the Gipper at the chalkboard, those are long gone. I mean, this is uh, like any business, computers have had a huge impact and they're gonna continue to have more of an impact. But there's also gonna be a place in there for the guys that master the technology as well and the use of it and trust it. The guys that master that and know when to use it are the ones that are gonna be really successful.